In one of my videos, I have explained about what is epilepsy and who has to come to the medical help. Luckily, if somebody has an epilepsy, it is treatable. Remember, once again I am telling, epilepsy is a treatable problem. You know, unless you allowed it to happen repeatedly, neglected yourself, not taken the you know, medical help, it is definitely treatable and if that is not there, it creates a stigma in the society. So, to prevent its further problem, medical help is mandatory. 95% of the patients can be treated completely with the medication. You know, along with the medications, you know, if you follow some of the routine activities of the day-to-day, -day, where we call discipline of life, epilepsy can be easily controllable. As of today, there are multiple medications are available. Most of them are well tested, very safe, and if taken under the medical guidance, 95% of the patients can be cured of epilepsy. If not cured, they can be well controlled. Years together it may not come. So who are the people who get repeated fits? So these are the simple five phenomena. Patients who do not take the medication appropriately at the appropriate time with appropriate dosage. Patients who do not sleep well. Sleep is an important part of brain healing, especially the night sleep. In the night sleep, we have different you know, cycles of sleep for every 90 minutes. If the sleep pattern changes, brain cells get irritated. If you had as fits, your chances of recurrent fit is very high if you miss a good night sleep. That is the second. Third, the brain can be irritated when the sugar level of your own decreases. So eating at the right time, sleeping at the right time is most important. Fourth, we give the medication based on your body height and the weight. And many of the epileptics are lazy or they're scared to go out and play or do exercise. And meanwhile, they'll put on weight. So it becomes a cycle. So if the dosage is not appropriate to your height and weight, and if you're not taken to the appropriate time, your chances of a recurrent epilepsy is very high. That's why exercise is mandatory. And brain also get irritated, especially in children, if it raises the temperature of the body. That I called you, the thermostat of the brain reacts differently. So if there is a fever, you know, there is an increased chance of fits. If you are hypoglycemic, increased chance of fits. Missing the tablet, you will have the seizure. If you do not take the you know, medication based on your body weight, if you don't maintain with exercise, it will be, you know, you'll have a seizure. Or most treatment we give it twice a day or a thrice a day. If you don't exactly maintain the 12 hour gap or 8 hour gap, you will get the free seizures. And when we give it two doses or two different medications, if you mix the two medications, the chances of seizures are very high because you know the each other interact and the dosage level comes down. So if you maintain these five points, your recurrent seizures become lesser and lesser. So if you have an epilepsy, Please visit the Institute of Neuroscience at Astro Whitefield and we have a dedicated epilepsy team who will look after you very well and we will give the guidance in addition to the medication what are the things which are affecting your epilepsy and how you control yourself rather than repeatedly coming to us.